Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the unguided transmission media. So in the last class, we have discussed about a guided media. Here we are going to see about unguided media and its category. Okay, so what do you mean by unguided media? Unguided media, it transports electromagnetic waves without using any physical conductor. Which means without any link, it can send data from source to destination. So how it is possible? In this medium, the signals are radiated through the air. Okay, sometimes uh, in few cases, it can transmit the signals through the water. Okay, so let us see how it works. Unguided signals can travel from the source to destination in three ways. Now let us see how it how it works. Okay, the first one is the ground propagation. Okay, so in ground propagation, the signal that are transmitted from the antenna can spread only the uh, lowest part of the atmosphere. Okay, so the radio waves travel through the lowest portion of the atmosphere. So it has only a low frequency signals. The signals can emanate in all directions from the antenna. Okay, so see the figure. Here the signal can spread in all directions. Okay, so it depends upon the the tra signal traveled is depends upon the distance. Okay, when when we greater the power, the it will increase the distance. Okay, so the next one is the sky propagation. Okay, in sky propagation, it has a higher frequency radio waves. See the picture here. The signals can reach up to the ionosphere of the earth so we already know that ionosphere always contains the ions such ions always reflect our signals back to the earth okay this type of transmission provide a greater distance with low power consumption so this is sky propagation the next one is the line of sight propagation the line of sight propagation means it always supports very high frequency signals such signal signals are transmitted in a straight line that is directly from one antenna to another antenna so it always support a two antenna that are aligned in a straight line okay so you, here the focusing a signal is very complex the next now this table shows the standard frequency band with its range and the propagation speed and what are the uses okay you can view it the next one is the wireless transmission media. So that means unguided transmission media can be classified into three. There are radio wave, microwave and the infrared. So we already know that wireless transmission means an unguided media or unbounded media. So let us see how it works. The first one is the radio waves. So usually radio waves are electromagnetic waves. When an antenna transports radio waves, they are propagated in all directions in free space. So let us see some of its features. Radio waves are generally omnidirectional. So, which means that when an antenna transmits radio waves, they are propagated in all directions. This means that sending and receiving antennas do not have to be aligned. Okay. So, a sending antenna send waves that can be received by any receiving antenna. Because the signals can be transmitted in all directions. So, so this is the advantage. But with, with the omnidirectional property always needs to be a disadvantage. Next is radio waves transmitted by one antenna are susceptible which means a signal can interfere with each other. Okay. Suppose when two antenna uh, transmit a signal at the same time, so the signal can be interfere. Okay. So radio waves uh, always support a propagation with a sky mode property. Okay. So this is the uh, some of the characteristics of the radio waves. Okay. So followed by radio waves can penetrate walls. So radio waves use omnidirectional antennas that send out some signals in all directions, but it can penetrate walls. Okay, the omnidirectional characteristics of radio waves make them useful for multicasting. So what do you mean by multicasting? A signal can be reached by the main. So this is the property of the radio waves. The next one is the microwave. Okay, so the microwave means microwave. which a so signal can be transmitted in a unidirectional way. Let us see some of the characteristics. Microwave signals always having frequencies between 1 to 300 gigahertz. Okay, uh, next it also supports the uh, line of sight propagation method and the microwave signals are always unidirectional which means the signals can be moved in only one direction okay when an antenna transmit microwaves they can be narrowly focused 
therefore the antenna must be aligned the sending and the receiving antenna need to be aligned in order to receive a signal okay so due to the unidirectional property microwave waves also have an advantage sometimes it also due to disadvantage Followed by let us see some of the characteristics of the microwave propagation. Okay, so we already know that uh, there are three types of propagation. Here the microwave propagation always supports the third type that is line of sight propagation. Okay, so the microwave tower uh, always mounted uh, that is the antenna need to be in a direct sight with one another. Next the microwave tower should be placed in the tall place so that's why the signals can be narrowly focused to the another antenna so uh, in microwave uh, waves transmission the repeater is a device which can used to repeat the signals must be needed so uh, with the help of the repeaters the microwave transmits the signal in an effective way okay next the microwave due to their unidirectional property these are very very useful for unicasting so what do you mean by unicasting communication so it will send the signals from one device to another device in a single direction okay this this is known as unicasting the uses of microwaves are cellular phones satellite network and wireless lan okay now let us see some advantages and disadvantages of microwaves microwave transmission is cheaper than using cables because it does not require any land for the installation of cables so hence it reduce the uh, cost next the microwave always need a less maintenance when compared to the cables so here we in microwave transmission repeaters are used it will increase the quality of the signal thereby it reduce the noise the fourth one is no cable is needed here so cable breakages is not a issue here the last one is the transmit and the receiver sizes are very very small so it supports high frequency next one is the disadvantage next disadvantage low bandwidth transmission a signal can be moved out of space so the environmental changes such as rain wind thunderstorm can reduce the quality of the signal and some of the signals must need a permission to access okay these are the disadvantage the next one is infrared waves so this picture depicts some of the applications of the infrared waves the most commonly used application is the television and the remote control so infrared waves is a backbone to operate a television with the help of the remote control now let us discuss some of its features so the infrared waves frequency is very high that is about 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz so it can be used only for a short range communication and infrared waves always support very high frequencies but these signals cannot penetrate walls these characteristics of infrared waves prevent interference between one system and another okay so this means a short range communication system in one room cannot be affected by another system in the adjacent room for example when we use infrared remote control we do not interfere with the use of the another remote control by our neighbors okay so these characteristics are the comes under infrared waves of infrared so followed by advantages and disadvantages of infrared, of infrared waves, waves, waves we are going to see here so advantages circuit of infrared waves is simple which means installation is easy is the cost of communication is relatively cheap it uses low power it uses consumption. only low power it consumption it provide a better security with minimum interference and it also supports the communication in a portable way next disadvantages of infrared it allows only one line of sight mode propagation method and it travels a short range distance so it is easily blocked by common materials like people walls etc so infrared wave speed is very very slower when compared to other signals and it also support only a low bandwidth transmission okay these are the and